Hello, I'm Coach Walsh, and it's a privilege today to be able to present these prestigious awards to some of our very deserving football players. First, our most valuable offensive player award goes to our quarterback, Brandon Jurgensen. Brandon's been the main reason the last two years that our air raid offense has produced. This year, he passed for almost 500 yards and eight touchdown passes in only two games. I think his most impressive stat, however, was throwing for a 76% completion rate without one interception. That's, that's really uh, unusual. Uh, I think he's going to have a great college career. He's going on first to Bridgeton Academy, where he'll play as a postgraduate before going on as a scholarship player to a four-year college. Brandon's uh, really made our offense go. He was the key to uh, everything we did offensively the past two years. I'm, I'm very happy for the success that he's had. He's worked extremely hard. Our most improved defensive player goes to Joe Krause. Joe's a senior who's played uh, the last three years uh, as a starter on offense and defense. His sophomore year, he was an outside linebacker on defense. His junior year, he was a cornerback most of the year. And this year, we moved him to free safety so he could really uh, cover the whole field. And as a free safety this year, he dominated both as a run defender and a pass defender. Uh, after every game we played, the opposing coaches, the first thing they said to me was, uh, boy, that number 18 uh, is some player. And uh, Joe, of course, was number 18. Joe's going on next year to uh, play football at Assumption College up in Worcester, Mass., where he earned a scholarship. Joe's also an honor student, uh, and uh, he's going to be very successful up there at Assumption. Our most improved offensive player goes to Charlie Mullally. Charlie's only a junior, and the uh, improvement he made between his sophomore year as a JV player and his junior year as a varsity player is just incredible. No one works harder than Charlie in the offseason during the season and practice and in games. As a result, Charlie not only was one of our top receivers, but he became one of the top receivers in all of Section 1. So we wish him uh, much success next year and in the future. Our most improved defensive player is Angelo Salato. Angelo played a great deal of offense last year as a sophomore when Connor Joya got injured. But this year, he really came into his own as an inside linebacker. Uh, Angelo was a relentless uh, run stopper. Uh, he played uh, with great intensity. And uh, he learned he got better each and every day. Uh, he's a very coachable player. And uh, that's the reason for his improvement. Only a junior, I'm sure Angelo is going to have a great senior season. Our Will to Win Award... Uh, the first person I thought of when I thought of this award was Connor Joya. Uh, Connor is a great running back and linebacker. Uh, however, he had some adversity. Both his junior and, se and sophomore seasons were cut short by serious injuries requiring surgeries and extensive rehabilitation. However, this year he was determined to have a great senior season, and he committed himself to a rigorous off-season training program. Connor played with great enthusiasm and intensity, and he was really one of our inspirational team leaders by his example. Connor will be attending Trinity Pauling next year to play a postgraduate year of football before playing college football. Our coaches award goes to Ray Ormerod. Ray's a senior who's a four-year football player in our program. Uh, Ray is not, uh, you don't hear a lot from Ray uh, verbally, uh, but each and every day he's committed to self-improvement. And as a result, uh, he became a starter his junior year and really came on as a senior and play was one of our most valuable offensive linemen. Uh, very coachable player. Ray was willing to play any position uh, along the offensive line, which he did, uh, and, he, and he did well. Uh, whatever could help the team, Ray was willing to do. He always played with a positive attitude, regardless of what the scoreboard read. Uh, Ray will be going on to further his education at Ply Plymouth State University next year up in New Hampshire. 
Uh, we also award uh, for the last five or six years the Burlesworth Character Award. It's a national award given by the Burlesworth Foundation out of the University of Arkansas. It's awarded to a player who has demonstrated exceptional character and sportsmanship throughout their playing career. This year's winner is Tyler Beresford. Tyler not only demonstrates great character and sportsmanship on and off the field, but he's, uh, in his four years, uh, he's been the ultimate team player. He's literally played almost every position on offense and defense. Uh, he's excelled as a special teams player, uh, but just always played with uh, a love for the game, great enthusiasm, and uh, high intensity. So we congratulate Tyler Bearsford for that award. It's a very prestigious award. And we also have some postseason awards given out by the section and by the league. Uh, the all league team this year, uh, we had eight people representing Our Lady of Lords. Brandon Jurgensen, Joe Krause, Andrew Rapoyer, Caleb Delventhal, Charlie Mullally, Sebastian Nusimo, and Jordan Wright. Andrew Rapoyer was also selected as the most valuable receiver in our league. And I also want to, at this time, give a special shout out to Andrew and a congratulations because he just recently received uh, his first scholarship offer uh, to a uh, major college, 1A school, Wake Forest. And I'm sure uh, there's going to be more to follow. All section award winners, and this is very difficult uh, to make all section in football. There's limited numbers and there's many teams and many players. But we were fortunate to get two players selected all section, Brandon Jurgensen and Joe Krause. And then we have two all-conference players. All-conference is uh, regarded as honorable mention all section. So they are right below uh, all section uh, status. Uh, and uh, both of these players, I think, are all section players. Andrew Rapoyer and Connor Joya both made all conference. So as many of you know, uh, this will be my last awards uh, ceremony presentation here at Our Lady of Lords. I recently stepped down as the head football coach. I wanna thank uh, everybody who has supported our program in the 11 years that I've been the head coach. Uh, we've, we've had some very exciting moments and uh, you know the support of the school, the community, all the students was very much appreciated and a big part of that. I wish the coaches next year all the best. I wish the players all the best. I'm sure they will continue uh, playing at a championship caliber. So I wish them the best and thank you very much.